Hi folks, David Creative Craft House. To show you something you may not have thought of before, and some of, some of you are going to think I've gone over the edge. Well, didn't have too far to go. This is a, um, a pet puzzle designed for your dog, or your perhaps your cat, or I suppose um, even a, a, a mouse or a rat or a hamster or something like that. But I think primarily a dog or a cat. Uh, it's very cool, and it is just built like a tank. Um, there's actually two sizes. Uh, the, the larger size here, which uh, we designed for uh, medium to large size dogs, and then the smaller one here, which we designed for small to medium sized dogs and, um, and cats. Uh, they both work the same, and just because you can get a better view probably on the bigger one, I'll, I'll work with that one. Uh, with you, but they are they're both uh, exactly the same. It, it is quite substantial. Uh, it's heavy. <laughs> um, um, it's um, uh, 10 inches, a little over 10 inches long here. Um, and it's made from floorboard material. I wanted to get a puzzle that was attractive, uh, extraordinarily durable, uh, because I, I, you know, I know what the environment is uh, going to be like, um, and also uh, quite effective. Um, you know, I think we've done that. Because it's floorboard, um, the, the, and it's layers of floorboard, as you might be able to see here. Uh, floorboard, you know, it's the stuff you buy at Home Depot. It's, it's a laminate material. Um, it's not really great for them to chew. It's kind of hard, uh, almost stone-like and gritty. Um, and it's uh, scratch-resistant, uh, water-resistant, um, easy to clean. Um, uh, I don't recommend you soak it, but you can certainly wipe it with a with a rag or soap, and, and you can get the dog slobber or whatever else is is on there off. Now, um, here's how the thing works. Um, you've actually got a few levels of difficulty all rolled into one here. Um, I, I recommend that you start with this off, this block off, because that starts to get really hard for them. Uh, but what you've got here is you see there's a little compartment in here in which you can put. Uh, you know, a little doggy or a cat treat, or um, I like to put little slices of hot dogs in there because they can really smell it well. Um, and you've also got one under there, and you've got one under here, too. So, starting off, um, what we found effective uh, is to, you know, you put a treat under each one of these, uh, in each one of these circles. So, right away, the dog, you know, gobbles that one up. Ho, 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 that's great. And uh, now he's got to try to find the other ones. And uh, either with the paw or more typically with the nose, um, because they're smelling at the same time, you might find that they're able to get this over and, and you know, grab that treat that's, that's in there. Um, it is a, generally a challenge, though, to go in the other direction. Because <laughs> now they've got either one at a time or more likely two at a time to push off in the other direction. So let's you know work with your dogs. You know, see how naturally smart he is. I think most dogs can be uh, trained to do this, and they they really seem to enjoy it too. Now the next challenge would add the center block. This is when it gets rough for him. You see now, of course, nothing slides. So you know, I mean, have that technique down pat, but it just doesn't seem to work. What they've got to do now is they've got to remove this. And the most effective way is to just, they can just knock it off with their paw. They don't really need to pick it up with their teeth at all. It's designed so that with the paw of the nose, this will just fall right off like so. Uh, and then get at that treat. And then go back to trying to get this to uh, do here. Um, we played around with it quite a bit with a uh, couple of sm small dogs using the smaller size. And one of them just struggled. Um, the uh, the Shih Tzu just really struggled to get anything done. Um, but the other one, um, God, I can't remember, another small breed, I can't remember the name, Yorkie, uh, really good, and uh, was able to solve the whole thing after well, maybe uh, 45 minutes of playing around and seemed to really enjoy it. Um, so uh, uh, again, uh, this is the smaller size, it's uh, about uh, seven and a half inches long. As, again, they're very heavy, this floorboard material is rugged, and, and not only <laughs> Not only is there each, you know, glued in layers, I've also pinned each layers. I've pinned everything. It's glued and pinned everything. Pin is a, it's a 23 millimeter uh, pin that a gun shoots in. and So everything is, uh, I, I suppose it's possible, but um, it's hard to conceive that even a dog could, could manage to get this thing apart. 
Um, and uh, I did that, I tried to do it that way because reading some comments on some other, there's not many out there, but the other few other animal puzzles that exist, one of the complaints was that they just weren't durable enough for the environment. So we tried to take care of that, we tried to do it at a very reasonable cost uh, for, for what you're getting. Um, it's actually uh, quite precisely put together. And uh, we think you have some fun with it. If this if this concept goes, I've got some other ideas for some you know, some related puzzles, a little different, uh, maybe a little more challenging, um, uh, and maybe some a little less challenging too, that uh, we'll go with if this this prove does prove to be successful. And also, we can uh, personalize this. Uh, this this is these are laser engraved. All these characters that you see. And uh, the, the the this laminate material takes a laser really really well, and, and I can put your dog's name or you know, whatever you want. There's a lot of room on here, so uh, that is an option. Uh, it's just a small uh, added cost to that. As if, if that's something that you would like to do. Okay, have some fun with this. I'd love to get some feedback uh, of your experiences with it. I tell you one of the things I'm going to try. <laughs> We got some you know, damn squirrels in the backyard, and they just seem to be able to solve any problem to get it food. So uh, I'm going to be working with them to see, to see how the squirrels do, and hopefully at some point uh, get a video of the squirrels. Um, it should be fun. Okay, thanks very much. This is Dave at Creative Craft House.